This is a segment where we take a look at a board game based on an IP. I tell you if the IP and the mechanisms match. Today we're looking at Elf on the Shelf Present Pileup. Each player starts the game with five presents and you'll start out on the start spot. On your turn, you'll roll the dice and you'll move that number of spaces. Then you'll do whatever is on the space. A lot of these allow you to either gain or subtract from the presents. But the fun ones are the ones that say toss. They allow you to put a present into the catapult and you try to get it in the sleigh. If you get it into the sleigh, then you have one less present you need to deliver. If you miss, then it comes back into your supply in the next player's turn. Once you get rid of all of these in the Santa sleigh, you would go around the board until you got to this location. Once you get here, you can make your way up the track to sit on Santa sleigh. The first person to get to Santa sleigh and have no presents is the winner of the game. No, the IP does not match this game at all. First of all, Elf on the Shelf is an elf placed on a shelf to spy on your kids, to report back to Santa Claus whether he's good or not. There's nothing in the lore of Elf on the Shelf that says they help pile up Santa's sleigh to go. So right there, boom, the IP and the mechanisms don't match. Why are they using a silly contraption? Why are you using dexterity and roll and move? No. This is a kind of a cash-in type of game. Nothing here. The IP mechanisms don't match, and it's not a good game. Complete miss. Elf on a shelf needs to get back on that shelf and report to Santa that they brought us a bad game for Christmas.